These days, we're all concerned about the cost of energy. SoCal Gas wants you to know that when it comes to your natural gas bill, information is key to controlling energy costs. Let's take a closer look at your bill in order to better understand some of the terms and how higher consumption directly affects your bill. The bill from SoCal Gas provides you with lots of information about your natural gas usage or consumption. But what do terms like therms, baseline, and climate zone mean? And how do they relate to your energy costs? First, let's talk about therms, which appear on your bill a lot. Therms are a unit of energy SoCal Gas uses to measure your natural gas usage. If you look at your consumption graph, you'll see the amount of energy you use each month reflected in therms, along with a yearly history of your consumption. Directly under the consumption graph, you'll find helpful information about the billing cycle, including the dates reflected on your bill, total and daily average therms, and the number of days in the billing cycle, which can vary. Your baseline allowance indicates how much energy you're allotted within a billing cycle at a rate specified by the California Public Utilities Commission, or CPUC, the governmental agency that regulates California's utilities. This baseline allowance is calculated in therms per day. Staying under your baseline allowance encourages conservation and is one way to lower your bill. If you exceed your baseline allowance, that amount will be charged at a higher rate and that means a higher bill. One factor affecting your baseline allowance is where you live, reflected by your climate zone. So if you live in a cold area, you get a higher baseline allowance. Included in the rate therm charge on your bill is the commodity charge, or the market cost of the natural gas. Other items on your bill include public purpose programs that help support low-income customers with their energy expenses, and programs to improve home energy efficiency. I hope this clarifies some of the terms on your bill. As I said earlier, information is key. So here are a few more tips. Look at your consumption graph and focus on the amount of therms you've used, your usage history, and the dates within the billing cycle. While it may be warm today, your current bill reflects the energy you used last month when weather may have been different. In fact, during cold weather, you consume more natural gas since your home heater and water heater cycle more often. Lower your thermostat while you sleep and properly insulate your water heater to help save energy and lower your bill. And it's more than just your heater and gas appliances that consume natural gas. Remember that other home equipment also uses natural gas and affects consumption. If you're already conserving water with shorter showers and larger laundry loads, congratulations! You're also saving natural gas, which translates to savings on your bill. To find more information and gain even more control of your natural gas bill, sign up for my account, where you'll find ways to save, bill tracker alerts, and level pay plan, which gives you more ways to track and control your natural gas usage. Understanding your bill means you're in control and lowering energy costs. SoCal Gas is dedicated to reliably providing the safe, clean, and affordable energy you need when you need it.